Hi everybody, um, this is just going to be a video. Uh, I've had a message from a chap called Paul of Fishes at the Lenches and he's asked me a couple of questions uh, which I'm hopefully going to answer during this video about the tippet, the bung uh, and, and, and various different methods. So I want to talk you through some of the stuff that I do, you know, so everybody knows about it. First of all, he mentioned about the tippet, yeah? Now when you're fishing a place like the Lenches, right, this is plenty. Now this is the, the Rio Fluorofrex, it's 5x, it's five pound breaking strain. It's really, really fine, but believe you and me, it is really, really strong. And that is ample when you're catching fish up to four pound, you know, four to five pound, even more really, to be fair. The 5x, it's not cheap, it's 12.99, but it's a really, really good nylon, yeah? If you were going to bigger places uh, where the fish, you know, like the, the sort of places like Lynch Lade, Avington, Diva Springs, then I recommend you go with this, which is the Seagar Grand Max, and that's uh, 2x, 12.5 pounds. If you tie your nuts right, you, that's going nowhere. Also, for people who are just starting off, uh, like yourself, Paul, you mentioned that you're just starting off. On your leader, you can buy these, you see. These are made by Greys. Yeah, and what these are, they're a tapered leader, and what that does, it helps to deliver that fly better and easier for your cast. They're not expensive. I mean, this is seven pound uh, nylon breaking strain, and um, what are these? I think that you can get them for a couple of pounds. Yeah, it just helps out with the wing nuts when you're first starting casting this, that, and the other. So yeah, that's so that's basically that's the tippet. Yeah. Now we're going to be moving on to the bungs. So. There's loads of different bungs out there. You've got these ones, which are the fish pimps. I don't recommend them. They're all like, okay, really. But So that you've got this type, and then there's these other ones here. Yeah. Right. So you imagine this, yeah. You just see that there. I don't know if you can pick that up yet, yeah, yeah. So you put that plug through there, chap it on your nylon, okay? But then ones, you've got to basically take your fly off, okay? Yeah. But these are the ones I like and to use, and these are from... Airlock, yeah, these are from Airlock and they're very good, yeah. I think they're a bit more expensive, but they're really good. So basically, you just got a little um, nut that you undo there, yeah, and there's two washers in between there. So you push your nylon through, put the washer back on, tighten it back down. And I'm just going to move over to here now because I've got one set up here to show you. They come in different colors. Whoop, there we go, boys. So basically. Yeah, as you can see, it's on there. Now, when you're fishing under the bung, realistically, you want to be about three foot to four foot deep. It could vary on the day. You've, you've got to work the depths out. It's as simple as that. But as you can see, that's attached to that. And all you've got to do is just untwist that and move it up and down quite freely. You don't have to over tighten it, but it stays rigid throughout the cast. Sometimes they can move after you're catching a fish, but that's for me that's the easiest method and if you want to check it off you can now talking about flies and what to fish under the bung right so i've got a, a there's lots of things you can fish under the you can fish basically anything under the bung sorry about turning me back there but you know these these always go well and that's a little egg fly there yeah that goes well that does go well under, under the bung you can fish uh lures but whatever you like really if it's, it's static and, and the fish are in that zone and they're, they're, they're topping or whatever you can you know there's fish there when they swim past bang they'll take it but that's a good one and the apps worms are good another good one as well to fish under the bung yeah so that's that side of it uh right i'm going to show you some variety of flies listen there's boxes and boxes of flies look look at all these these are nymphs check nymphs yeah there's so much different things you, you, you can do, right? But what you gotta remember, look, I'm just gonna show you just, just quickly, show you all, right, yeah? There's loads and loads of flies. Loads and loads of different choices. But what you gotta remember, there's probably, not so much in the lures, but there's probably 10 go-to flies that we'll use. So all of them, really, you, that's nice to have them with you, but you're not gonna use them. I know there's a lot of people out there now are gonna say, well, let me just stop it. So basically what I'm saying, the other method that I use at um, the Lenches is fishing under the bung. So let me just see if I've got, yeah, I've got it here, right, yeah. So this basically is what they call a booboo, yeah. Now, okay, so basically why I fish that 
at the lenches. It's, it's a great method, and I've proved it on some of the videos, yeah? So we'll be using a die five line, yeah? Which is sinking at uh, five inches per second. Now the purists will be like going, ah, what's this? But it catches fish. And if you're just starting out, right, yeah? If you're just starting out, and you, you're going with like, this type of selection here, which the purists would all use, that's all, all your dry flies there, yeah? That's all your dry flies, your daddies and all that. And it is, it's absolutely lovely to catch a fish on this method. For me, it's worth three fish against the other way, but you want to catch fish, don't you? And if you're just going there, using this method, you're going to soon lose interest in the sports. So the booby on a die five is great. It's, 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 a great. it's a great way of doing it, yeah? So, but I fished that, with the die, as I say, with a die five, a three foot leader. I just want to show you this other thing as well, if, you, if you're moving on to it, when you get a little bit more advanced. This is another bung, yeah? A strike indicator. But if you see that there, this is when you're fishing on a reservoir, yeah? So it's got a hook in it, because sometimes the fish, the trout, will come up and get to go, to go for the bung, yeah? So let's put a hook in it, and that's exactly what they've done. But this wouldn't be allowed at the lenches. This is only a place where... You, you can allow droppers, yeah? And if you're gonna fish that way, then use this method because there's an extra hook there for you. And if they're coming up and taking that, you've got them, yeah? Oh, also, also, if you're fishing under the bung as well, because, I know you've got to keep it tight or figure eight if you just, just draw it back and cast it, but do slightly more exaggerate your cast. And if you're fishing the die five method, as I said to you, this 5X tip it here, realistically, you need to go for something about seven pound. You don't want to be fishing anything seven pound less than that. I'll just cancel that call. Yeah, so seven pound. You don't want to be fishing anything less than seven pound um, on, on the booby method because it's you're fishing a three foot leader. You don't want to be any more three foot, four foot leader or shorter. And then you, it's, there's no stretching it basically. You're straight onto it. So you want to be fishing heavier leader on, on that method. Um, yeah, I think that covers about all of it. There's one more thing I've got to say. So, uh, my sister's been on to me and she said, oh, can you not give me dad a mention? Because he was a very, very keen trout fisherman. So, I'm going to show you the picture now, just for my sister. Uh, that was my dad. Uh, you can see him with a trophy there. And uh, also, he was a keen angler, very keen. He was very good, very good. And that was his uh, trophies that he caught in the one year. I think there was six uh possible six trophies to win that year i think he won five of them so there uh another good thing uh for you to do if you're just starting out and you're struggling um is that they get these uh from air flows yeah these cassette box and basically you can sight uh, tie your leaders on to a ready so you've only got the one nut to do this is more better when you're fishing droppers, because when you're fishing droppers from a boat or a bank or whatever, where it's permitted, you can get yourself into tangles. So say you're trying to mess about this, that and the other, you just break it, put it aside, push this one. I mean, and that's if you're in a competition, but that, that should do it, yeah? Okay, so that's that, hopefully that's answered all your questions. Any more, you know, if I can answer anything else for you, if I can do it, I will. So let me just turn this phone up again. So, um, yeah, basically, um, Happy fishing and tight lines. GoPro stop capture.